My name's Luke Muller and we're at the Edwards in Newcastle for the Sailor Jerry Jerry Can Ride 17. We've got the art hung here with my stuff with Sailor Jerry's stuff, which is pretty amazing. All of his stuff looks great. I can't believe I'm seeing it restored the way it's been restored. The colours are actually the colours he painted, whereas in the reproductions they're a lot darker and the stains on them have been removed, which just makes you be able to see the grain of the paper better and understand how he painted the designs and how nice they actually look in real life. In my art, I kind of take a lot from Norman Collins' work. So to see it in person, cleaned up in the way it should be and restored for pretty much the rest of our lives and not fading away, it's just mind-blowing. It's amazing. A lot of my art's inspired by Norman Collins. I use similar line weights, colours, the amount of black that I put in my work. I learned that from looking at his flash sheets when I started Tower. One of my favourite pieces in the collection is the Cigarette Girl. She's leaning against the fence and she's known as one of the first pin-up models to ever get turned into a tattoo. And to see it restored and see the browns that are used in it, they don't look like that in the books. So my name's Liam Butler. We're at Butler's Customs and Cafe Races. We're part of the Edwards Bar, where you guys are holding the Sailor Jerry's event tonight. Everything that we do is vintage and classic sort of stuff. And I'm massive into tattoos too myself. I'm covered in tattoos, as I guess most motorbike riders are. I mean, I'm a massive fan of art. My dad's a full-time artist. He always has been. So last year, when you guys came here, a year ago, I got a tattoo from you guys. You know, it had the banner around it, but I think this is ideal for me because I always run out of petrol. So it's a good reminder to put fucking fuel in the bike. <laughs> Put it that way, and it's coming handy. <laughs> Huge fan of that style of art, you know, it's, it's just incredible. So it's nice to see the originality behind it all. I mean, I've always been a bit of an outsider myself because it's just boring trying to be like the rest of society, you know? So that's, I see what he's all about in that respect, and it's, 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 it keeps his life exciting. I think a lot of people that don't understand art just think that this guy's just throwing this together. There's a whole back catalog of his artwork out there that people need to see and they need to see that processes I guess it's the same as building a bike there's a process you know he doesn't just get it online because it didn't work like that back in the day it's all out of his head he's had to hand sketch it you know he's got his his tracings and all that sort of stuff and people need to see the process and it's nice for people to be able to see that and appreciate this guy's absolute born talent you know and I don't think it's the same with the bikes that I build. They don't see this whole process. So it's nice for them to be able to walk in, see the sketches, and then the final process, you know? I think it's incredible. So my name's Josh. And I'm Joey. And um, we're in the Bentley Owls, and um, we're sitting out in front of the Edwards, uh, which is a local venue uh, at, in Newcastle. It's interesting, my, my grandfather used to own half of this and um, he was a wholesale tobacconist. So I remember being up in the roofs of these places and um, I couldn't read, but I, at three year old, but I knew the pink and the purple Hubba Bubba. So I'd go up there and raid um, the Hubba Bubba stalls up here. So there's, it's quite um, uh, dear to me, you know, old, old memories come back, yeah. Our association, with Sailor Jerry has been um, for a few years now. Um, really started at um, Hotel Street, which yeah. was a pop-up bar in Sydney and King's Cross. Yeah. They booked us for one night and we ended up doing three or four dates and I think we were one of the bands that played there the most. So the first tattoo I ever got was a Sailor Jerry pin-up girl called Ginger. I ended up getting that one and then the day after I got the Sailor Jerry mum tattoo because I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, there's a great uh, quote by Norman Collins, which is, I haven't done my best yet, only my best so far. And I think as artists, you know, you always strive to be better. So we align with that moral sort of idea a lot. Yeah, I think, I think that's true. I think we, we're never really satisfied with any recordings or performance. We always want to keep going. And I think, yeah, just continuing from that. I think if you, if you just settle, uh, there's no room for improvement. So, you know, I, I, I wholeheartedly agree with that as well. Yeah. <laughs>